So we now know 21 of the 24 nations that will make up this summer's Euro 2024, but which countries will make it through to the knockout stages? In this video, we're going to take a look at my early door predictions for... Group D. Today we're taking a look at Euro 2024 and of course we're going to take a look at my early door prediction. Which countries will go through to the knockout stages and which ones will go home at the first hurdle. We're going to take a look at it, all of it in just a second. If you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe button, make it to all things Euro 2024 related, Baba Rovers related, world football related. We're going to all hear boys under one Ruski. That's right, this summer spectacular is edging ever closer. We still need to know those three mystery teams and of course we'll bear that in mind as we make these predictions. But anyway, we're going to take a little look at group uh, each and every one of the groups here shortly. Uh, so before a further do a big big shout out to my vips they are the patrons you know who you are but anyway let's get into it. All right then folks, let's take a little look at Group D then, of course. Uh, but once again, before we jump into it, I want to let you know that these are my early door predictions, which are likely to change as we get closer to the the, the start of the tournament in June. Uh, before we do a deep, deep dive into that, let's take a look at the nations that make up this one. Now, this one's a little bit weird because I think we do have uh, a mystery box for the last nation. But the first nation is, of course, it's the Dutchies. That's right. Winners back in 1988, uh, of course, uh, been a bit in, uh, in the world wilderness some would say in the international tournaments of late uh, so we do need to see them arise up uh, and, and try and um, come back to their finest once again but they were back here in, in 2020 but again bit, uh, bit of a mystery team at the moment we don't know really how good they are they qualify as group b runners up uh, so they are here i think they were here as top seeds. they're joined by austria of course this is their fourth euros and it's their third in a row uh, of course their first was back in 2008 2016 2020 and now here in 2024 they were group f runners up so they are here alongside the dutchies and they're joined by la france of course group b winners uh, they've been here 10 times in the past. This is their 11th. They won it twice in 1984 and the year 2000. They haven't won it since that year 2000. But of course, a team of this quality uh, should be, um, should be uh, competing. And then we've got this uh, quartet of teams. We have the Welsh, we have the Finns, we have the Polish and we have Estonia. Now, one of those will qualify and one of those will make it into this group. Again, I don't know. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do this video under the, under the guise of... Um, who I expect to come through. And I probably would think the Polish will come through, maybe the Welsh, but um, uh, but anyway, I realistically think that even no matter who, I think, that, I think the Polish could cause some problems. And I think the winner of that little Brucey bonus playoff tie could compete for a third spot uh, position in this, t in this league here, in the mini league. Anyway, so those are the, the countries and these are the matches. So we're going to start with, of course, the opening game, which will see the winner of that playoff, whether it be Wales, Finland, Poland or Estonia, take on the Dutch, of course, uh, over in Germany now. I've got, again, if it is the Poles, if it is the Welsh, uh, I, I think if it is Poland, I'm going to go with that, guys. I do anticipate Poland will, will be up there. Lewandowski still playing, still competing, still uh, chipping away. Uh, uh, for them and I, I think he can still be a, a problem again he hasn't really showed up in the big competition so I do to anticipate him to to be here but to struggle against the Dutch the Dutch uh, do have quality they've got a lot of young good players coming through the ranks right now and this could be a tournament for them to really shine I'm not saying go the distance but I'm saying really shine maybe get quarterfinals or more than that then it's Austria against France again Austria do have a couple of couple of bits of quality but uh, realistically up against the French it is going to be one way traffic uh, Austria did well last time around um making it deep into the competition, I, I recall. And, uh, and on any other day, on any given day, Austria can win uh, a game of football against the French, but not in the group stages. It'll be comfortably done France. They might be a little bit boring. Again, they had a stuttered start in their uh, uh, on their journey to the final in the World Cup, of course, uh, making it very hard work. And, and trying to get these early results under your, under your belt is absolutely massive. Of course, if you were to stumble in these, one of these first two games or first game, um, you're then going to look to, to the big one, which is the next one the Dutch against the French uh, as a chance to uh, to keep yourself in the competition so 
Must get that first win. Must get it uh, wrapped up. Ne meanwhile, the Poles, the Welsh, the Finns, or the Estonians will take on Austria in a bit of a tasty clash on the 21st of June. Uh, I've gone with a draw here. Uh, like I said, that game is massive for whoever qualifies as playoff winners. Getting, a, getting something out of Austria, basically, if you, you kind of need to beat Austria, really, to go through. However, there's still a chance, depending on how bad you lose, uh, to qualify uh, or at least fit, uh, finish in third spot in this group uh, but uh, anyway it's a draw which probably puts uh, any hope really of, the, of you qualifying through to the knockout stages but of course we'll see uh, at the end of it meanwhile the Dutch against the French will lock horns on the 21st of June as well to basically see who comes out on top of this group and again I've gone with a draw really does that give up uh, hope to anybody else um, perhaps but uh, realistically I don't uh, anticipate too much friction at the top of the table uh, over in group uh, what is it D right now um, so French against the, the playoff winner. And again, I do anticipate the French will come out on top comfortably as well. Uh, scoring six goals, uh, seven goals in total, conceding just the one. And uh, we'll put them in prime time position to be number one. However, the Dutch do have a chance to overtake them uh, with, uh, with a win and uh, a convincing win over Austria. They'll get the win, I think. 2-1 win. It'll be a tough one. Uh, but it'll, of course, uh, leave the French, I believe, with my calculator out, uh, top dog. So we do have Wales, we do have Finland, we do have Poland, we do have Estonia. Uh, so... Uh, Wales are 500 to 1, uh, odds Finland also 500 to 1, uh, Poland are 251, so they have a better chance, Estonia, um, I don't even see them in the odds, I don't think they give them any hope whatsoever to qualify. Meanwhile, uh, 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 what else do we have? We have Austria uh, in this group, 80 to 1, uh, it's quite high up there, and then we do have the Dutch at 16 to 1, the French are 7 to 2, those are the odds live right here right now. So, of course, it will be the playoff winner with one point, unfortunately that will not be good enough, even if it's Poland, I do think it's going to, again, we will review this once we get the official names at the, towards the back end of March. Austria will come in in third, Again, they're level, pretty much level on third. And I think it's going to be a quite a hard sell for them to get through as one of the best third place teams. Then it is the Dutch on seven. Good scoreline for that. Uh, no defeats as well. Level on points with the, with the French who will go through as winners on goal difference. That's my picks for Group D. Well, there you have it, folks. There you bloody have it. Those are my predictions for Euro 2024. What do you think? Do you agree or disagree? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. And while you're at it, make sure you smash the old like video. Get the YouTube algorithm working for you, of course, by smashing the like. You're going to get more Euro 2024 content from myself, but also other content creators out there. And while also you're at it, if you haven't done so already, make sure you smash the old subscribe. A whopping 78% of you are not subscribed. But of course, keep us close to your heart here, of course, as we get closer to kickoff as a lot more content for Euro 2024 is about to be uh, created here uh, with me, Blab and Overseas. But until then, guys, subscribe, thumbs up, smash the like, hit the little bell, and of course, I'll catch you later when we return for the next one.